Hello my diamond art friends, my name is Eileen and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are returning, thank you for your continued support and friendship. I wanted to share um, the progress on my Captain America canvas as I am participating in the Paint with Friends Superhero Edition January event. And um, this is how far I am so far. I do still have the red to do um, to fill in, but what I have, uh, what I wanted was some a, B, red ABs to be able to also put into the canvas because what I did with the yellow mix, which was the ABs with mixed with the yellow, I also did that with the blue. Um, I don't know if you can see the ABs in there or not, but there are some ABs in there. And then I also did that with the white or like the cream that has some ABs in there. And then I wanted to also do that with the red, but I didn't have red. So I ordered some off of Amazon. It came in, it was a little bit darker than I wanted, but I have added it. I think you can see it in there. Um, I have actually two because um, obviously you're gonna need a lot of red. And um, so that's what I plan to do in this whip and chat is to just fill in some of the red and kind of chat away. Um, excuse this mess of parchment paper. As I was going along and finishing and skipping over the red, I was laying down um, release paper and then putting the parchment paper over it in order to hopefully save this stick. So yeah, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so that, oh, I don't wanna bring it too far, but I wanna be able to show what I'm doing. And then, We'll uh, get started. I am using, um, this is called Tiki Tack. I got it off of Etsy. So I'm using that in my six placer and my four placer. And I am using regular wax, uh, blue wax or whatever in the 10 placer. And then I'm using glue dots in all of the single placers. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Um, and go ahead and do some chatting. I do have some interesting conversation I had with my brother. We did a, um, you know, like favorite super male superhero, favorite female superhero, you know, stuff like that. He answered questions, um, the same questions I did. And actually we were similar in some of our responses. So that was kind of interesting. Um, oh, I didn't want it to come over that far. Anyway, that's all right. I don't, it wasn't that far. That's all right. I'm going to just pull that back there. You see what I have done. I just wanted to show the update and then wanna, I want to fill in the red. So, um, let me go ahead and lay down a little bit of them first and then we'll go from there and I'm going to try to chat away for 30 minutes and see eh, what happens along with those questions. If I run out of stuff to talk about, well, I'll talk about something else, <laughs> right? Okay, so, oh Lord. All right, so um, I do hope everyone is doing well um, and making some fantastic progress on your superhero canvases. Um, I know I really like doing this event I've been trying to oh I think I forgot to get that yeah the, I was holding them down with some cover minders and forgot to move the magnets from the back so, you know sometimes it is what it is <laughs> it's been a long couple days so um hmm, hmm. I hope you all are doing well I've been trying to uh, I will be catching up on everybody's um videos on their progress for their superhero um, canvases and you know their chats or updates. I absolutely um, plan on doing some of that um, this evening um, since uh, my lovely friend was discharged from the hospital and she's home resting. And um, since she didn't really sleep well last night, cause you know in the hospital, I doubt anybody ever sleeps at the hospital. Um, you know, she said she was up most of the night. Um, so I'm going to let her rest and I will be checking in on her later. 
But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get to the conversation of kind of doing uh, the, the question or, you know, answer thing that I did with my brother um, in regards to superheroes. So I asked my brother who his favorite male superhero was. And he answered how I knew he was going to answer. He said Wolverine. And um, he asked my favorite superhero. And I'm going to tell you, basically it's because of the actor who played this character is the reason why he's my favorite. And so I said, Iron Man, I absolutely adored Robert Downey Jr. in that uh, role. I think it suited him so well, and um, yeah, so that's why I chose him. And my niece also piped in and said that Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man would have would be her choice as well. I actually asked her if she wanted to participate, but she wasn't sure some of the things, some of the questions. I guess she's not a superhero fan um, and doesn't really follow it all that much, so she just kind of chimed in bits and pieces. So you'll be hearing some of her answers throughout this as well. Um, my brother um, was very much an X-Man, X-Men uh, fan when we were children, so his response was not a huge surprise to me um, at all. <clears throat> the next one was, who was your, who is your favorite female superhero? And my brother and I both responded with the same answer. We both said Wonder Woman. Um, he did say, well, who else is there besides Wonder Woman? So I kind of named some off, you know, Supergirl, Batgirl, Black Widow, you know, um, Captain Marvel. I get that Captain Marvel is, the modern day Captain Marvel is a woman. Um, and he did name, a, you know, some others, and so he stuck with Wonder Woman. And I stuck with Wonder Woman, too. I think that's more because we also watched the Wonder Woman show that was on TV. And um, I think we just kind of remember that one where she would turn around and instantly be in her Wonder Woman outfit. Like, she, like, twirled around, like, three times, and there she was in her Wonder Woman gear. <laughs> Um, but that was his response, um, and my response. We were both the same there. Mm. It's down. Ooh. Shoot. All right, it could be just the day I'm going to have with diamond painting. Eh, whatever. Okay, so, um, uh, the next thing question that I asked my brother and we both answered this question identically but he was actually able to give me kind of um, a character a superhero that had this ability um, to do so and um, or remembered like an episode or a movie um, about it but anyway my question to my brother was if you could have uh, one superpower um, what would it be and why? My brother answered he would like the power to heal so that he could help heal people. And that was kind of my um, response as well, but I'm a nurse, so I kind of assumed that would have been my answer. Um, but he said that, I don't know if it's part of a movie or an episode or whatever he watched, but a Wolverine apparently was able to travel back in time where he was injected with this virus and his body, I guess, formed like an antibody or a cure. So they were able to use Wolverine's blood to cure or eradicate this, and it, this illness. And my brother didn't remember what the illness was, but, um, he said that there was a well, there was something could have been a movie it could have been anything um i'll be honest with you i haven't watched 
an X-Man or X-Men movie in quite a long time. Um, I don't remember if I even watched anything past the first Wolverine movie, which was quite a long time ago. Hugh Jackman is amazing as Wolverine, but yeah, um, I have kind of, not that I, you know, like I don't really follow too many of the superhero movies anymore. I do have a superhero nap time movie, which I'll tell you guys about um, in a little bit. But um, yeah, so that was my brother and my response. So that was the same. Um, I wouldn't have thought that he would have said speed or anything like that. I honestly expected my brother to answer the same as me in, in that answer. Um, nuts. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, these glue dots are fairly new in here, and so you know how they give you a little bit of a fit. Well, I just have to remember that every once in a while you gotta kind of get them a little dirty again. Okay, let me just take my pen and mark off what we've talked about. Okay. Took a sip of coffee, delicious. I then asked my brother, what's his favorite superhero movie? My brother answered, he likes the new Spider-Man movies. Um, I guess that's the ones with like Tom Holland. Um, I've seen a couple of them. Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but for me, my favorite two superhero movies, well, I have two favorite ones and they're both, um, Avenger, not Avenger. Well, they're Avengers, but not the Avenger movies. It would be Iron Man 2 and Captain America Winter Soldier. Um, the, the man that does my hair, that cuts my hair, um, he actually prefers Captain America Civil War. And um, so I guess you know, everybody's got their opinion, right? But anyway, <laughs> um, and Iron Man 2 and Captain America Winter Soldier, like say I'm gonna take a nap in the living room, like in the recliner, um, I will often put on Iron Man 2 or Captain America Winter Soldier and, and put that movie on. And I call those my nap time movies because what happens is the movie starts and I wake up either, you know, in the middle or when it's over, <laughs> especially when I'm super tired. So I will say that, uh, I know they might be weird, um, nap taking movies, but, um, I keep the volume down really low. Um, I think it's just because those movies are like familiar to me and I've probably seen them a million times. So like, you know, the noise of like, that may come up like, you know, where the sound goes up because it's a battle or whatever, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, but yeah, those, those two are my nap time movies as well. Okay, let me just, I probably will run out of things to talk about on the paper. I kind of knew that because I didn't have a lot of questions to um, think of, to ask, or, you know, my brother, but, um, and myself, I knew just answering for myself would not have given the answer which I needed. Um, you know, I would have been done with that in like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Uh, I asked my brother next who his favorite male villain was. And he said, Dr. Doom. Okay. Um, and then my niece said, there's a show called Lazy Town, which I'll grab my iPad when we get done and we'll look that up. But he, she, she said, Dr. Fierro? Anyways, the, I don't, 
Anyway, he's the villain of Lazy Town. And, um, so, and I don't even know what Lazy Town is. I did look it up when she was here, but I didn't really read too much of it. But she was telling me a little bit about it. And then my favorite, oh, I'm getting ticky tack all over. Oh, nuts. Uh, my favorite uh, male villain would be the Joker. Um, I'm not really quite sure why. All I can probably say is, um, look at my tweezers. Oh, I'm making a mess too. Why I find my tweezers. Um, probably I'll say the Joker. I really enjoyed, um, the Batman movie with Val Kilmer and Chris O'Donnell where uh, they played Batman and Robin. And then um, Tommy Lee Jones played Two-Face and Jim Carrey played the Joker. I couldn't think of a better suited actor to play the Joker. And I think that that's partly why I like it. Um, like the Joker, um, that movie. Um, Though I don't think Val Kilmer was the best Batman. He was good, but we'll get to that one in a minute. <laughs> that was one of the questions I asked my brother. I think I asked a total of 10 uh, different things. So that's why I think I'll need to, uh, I might, I will need to kind of chat away about other things um, as we go along. Uh, I don't want to get enough of this done where like I can kind of start kind of working on it as like a whole entire piece, this canvas. So. And I don't know if I'm going to wait a week to give another progress video um, and chat because I don't know how long, much longer it'll take me. Um, but it might take another week, who knows. And then I don't know if I'm going to do that other canvas or not. I'll get into that once I'm done. That second canvas I was gonna do, I can save it for another event. But anyway, um, and then I asked my brother who his favorite female um, villain was, and he said Poison Ivy. Um, oh. Come on. And I need to get those thin ones. Anyway, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And then my answer was Harley Quinn. And you guys are probably, if you guys have been following me at all, you know I have a couple Harley Quinn style, style like uh, canvases. I even have one of Joker and Harley Quinn, kind of, I call it in their younger days, which, I am likely going to complete as one of the canvases for Enza's and, um, Paint Along with Friends next month that she is, that Crafty Chef Diamond is co-hosting with her. Um, just because um, that to me, that photo just seems, even though I know what, what they're trying to depict, like, uh, Harley Quinn and the Joker as young people, but it's more about them being in love in the photo more than it is about, you know, the fact that they're going to be villains when they are adults. So I'll explain that when I get to that, but she is my favorite female villain, though I would guess like the Suicide Squad, right, would be considered, she'd be considered a good guy, I guess, right? I don't know. But we are going to say, for the sake of my conversation, she is a villain. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's get this one part done. Okay. Um, shoot. Okay. So how's that looking? I'm just wondering how it's looking in the camera. So I'm going to pop up a second. 
Oh, it's looking all right. Um, yeah, I think it's doing what I was hoping it would do. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, all right, so then my brother and I got into a conversation of superhero cartoons when we were children. Um, that was the 1980s. Like, my brother was born in 1977. I was born in 1976. And so, obviously, the cartoons that we're going to remember were early 80s, mid 80s, I would say. Um, of course, Saturday morning cartoons are not like they were nowadays, so... Um, my brother's favorite cartoon, superhero cartoon, was X-Men. As I said, he is an X-Men fan. And then for me, I would say that mine would be G.I. Joe or Super Friends or Justice League or whatever it was called. Um, you know, that had... Um, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, um, what was it, the Wonder Twins? Um, anyway, so yeah, those will probably be my two. Though as it got to be like 1989 and 1990, I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, but I was a teenager um, at that point. And actually my first date was with a dear, well now a dear friend, um, where we went and saw the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. And I have it now on um, DVD and I watch it once in a while just to remember um, being 14, I think I was 14 or 13. I could have been 12. I don't really remember. <laughs> now I don't remember, but um, we went to the Silver Screen restaurant and had dinner. His mother and brother sat in a different booth and we sat together in another booth. And then we went to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie and sat by ourselves. And um, yeah, that was, that's a lovely memory um, and a nice kind of trip down memory lane for me, I suppose. Okay, so, and then I asked my brother about superhero shows on TV, like which ones were his favorite, and he said he didn't watch any. Um, so he couldn't really answer the question. My niece said Lazy Town, and then for me, I would say um, the original Batman with Adam West. I like those old shows. So I would say that I kind of enjoy it, but you kind of already know how it's gonna turn out. Um, and then I would say when I was a younger kid, cause Batman was a little before I was a younger person. Um, I would say like, I would probably say Wonder Woman. Um, not that they, the Bionic Woman and Six Million Dollar Man were considered superheroes, but they are also, I would say, um, shows that I remember that I enjoyed as a child, kind of superhero qualities, right? Um, they did good. Uh, they had super, what, power and maybe speed. Um, but anyway, yeah, I would probably pick that as mine. So we are on number nine and um, the last two should go by fairly quickly and then I'll kind of go into some just rambling, I guess, for a little while. Um, I asked my brother who his favorite Batman actor was. Oh shoot, um, his favorite back Batman actor was um, and he, answered Christian Bale um and then I answered Michael Keaton <laughs> um so yeah 
I lied to Michael Keaton as Batman. Okay. And the last question, and then I'm just going to ramble on for a little bit. <laughs> Your, who was his favorite? I asked my brother who his favorite, and we actually answered the same. Uh, they say, we actually chose the same person. Um, I asked him who his favorite Superman actor who played Superman was. Um, and he said Henry. Oh, he said the one that um, played him last that just got fired. Who is Henry Cavill? And um, I told him I actually agree. Though I will say Christopher Reeves has a special place, I think, in all of our kind of thoughts as he was one of the like like the original superman or whatever in the movies that we can remember and um yeah um or my brother said well you know he you know henry cavill was kind of uh you know he's very in shape and he looks like superman and i said to him yeah but you know i mean yes i agree henry cavill looks fantastic and who wouldn't think so um perfect but um yeah so you know i tried to play devil's advocate with like christopher reeves and that was my brother's reasoning for not choosing christopher reeve um for his answer but yeah they was those were the questions or like you know whatever i asked my brother and he did that he was kind enough to give me his answer so i could write them down and use them for this this chat so I would have some extra stuff to talk about other than me just talking about life, which is also very fine. But um, yeah, I wanted to just offer some superhero-y stuff since I'm still working on this canvas. Um, but yeah, I um, think I'm only gonna get this one done for this event. I was hoping to do two. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is I really was hoping to get to the canvas I bought for the Mermaid Cavern this month. Um, and I've really been looking forward to doing it. It would not fit in with this theme for superheroes. But once I finish this canvas, um, I am going to start that one. Um, and be able to uh, at least hopefully have like most of that done before I need to jump into, well, I shouldn't say jump into the other two, the two events I want to do next month. Um, I, I figure, uh, participating in events and not really pushing myself like overly hard, but like, that's a good way to meet other, um, diamond painters and crafters here on YouTube. Um, I would be able to, um, you know, follow along with what they're doing, their updates, and, um, you know, kind of get my footing that way since, um, you know, I don't know a lot. And I don't know. I've been watching a bunch of people for, you know, several months, but not like really like I have subscribed to a bunch. We're not really reaching out and I have reached out to some and say, Hey, I have a channel now. And they've been super great, but I would really like to just kind of get to know them by, you know, watching their video where they do an update video or they show a completion or, you know, kind of do what we're, you know, the, the whipping chats where you kind of discuss something. Like I know Enzo's got one out right now where she talks about um, some facts about Queen Elizabeth and I need to watch that. It is on my list to watch over the next couple of days where I can comment and like and um kind of get an idea of you know you know some of you know i would love to learn too and i think listening to that whip and chat i will learn some things about you know queen elizabeth as being from the united states um you know I don't know if I know that many things about her that, you know, if that makes sense. Um, you know, 
I, uh, I hate to call myself American too, by the way. Well, not that I'm not, but, and I know that Canadians don't quite look at it like that, but Canada is part of North America. That makes them American. People from Central America are American. People from South America are American. So just because I'm from the United States, yes, I am an American, but I am a United States citizen. So I don't have that thought that, you know, those of us that live on any continent with the name America in it, that we are all not American. Another thing that peeves me <laughs> is when people do not understand that Puerto Rico is a province of the United States, making anybody who is Puerto Rican, you bet, you got it, a United States citizen. Drives me nuts. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> now that I've told you my pet peeves, <laughs> Oh, goodness. I've actually had to kind of interject when I've heard people kind of disparage folks and say, you know, someone that, you know, being a little ignorant, and I don't, I don't care for that. Um, and not knowing that if you are from Port Puerto Rico, you are a United States citizen. Some people do not realize that. And anyway, so yeah, for... Enza's um, event next month, I am going to do that Joker and Harley Quinn like style diamond art painting that I got from Timu. It's kind of a larger one. Um, so that just shows like two people being young and in love and kind of that feeling of, you know, everything is going to be, you know, perfect. And, you know, life is, is a wonderful. <laughs> and there's nothing quite like seeing younger people that are in love, I feel. Um, or older people that are in love, um, especially, um, you know, those that are so very um, involved. I don't want to say involved, you know, like not public displays of affection, but you can tell that they have a connection that is, um, you know, strong. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that's uh, another story for another time, maybe next month when I'm doing another whip and chat on that canvas. Um, I am trying to figure out when I need to do my next one for this event. Um, I guess it just probably depends on how much I can get done and, and how much time, um, you know, I get to be able to diamond paint. Um, it is back to my Monday through Friday job on Monday. I do work my Sunday job tomorrow. Um, and, uh... We'll work all week and try to get some stuff done Friday after work so I can spend most of Saturday with my parents if they're not busy. I told them I don't want them to not do what they want to do. I want them to go and enjoy. If it's if they want to go and have lunch or visit with a friend, all they need to do is say, hey, I mean, you know, um, we're going to, you know, go hang out with so-and-so. Um, you know, we're gonna have lunch and that's fine. I want them to do as they want to do and not worry about if I'm coming over or not, if they wanna make plans with their with their friends or, you know, meet them for shuff, shuffleboard or whatever it is that my dad likes to do, then do it. Um, we have plenty of time to be able to do, you know, hang out together and spend time together. Um, since they got here, you know, I know it's important to get back and see, you know, the people that they normally see. And my mom actually will, likes to volunteer at a food pantry 
um, locally where they are, because I said they're about an hour from me. Um, she likes to do that, so she will likely start doing that again. Um, which is always nice, because she really enjoys doing that. And then, you know, my dad has some medical appointments at least once a week for a while. So, um, that'll get done too. So they've got to make sure that they're doing that. And my mom will keep dad on task for that. And she'll let me know if she needs anything there. And then, yeah, uh, I think I rambled on enough. <laughs> Gave you guys more information than you needed to know about me, I guess. Um, but yeah, here is my progress so far. You can see those drills that I laid down some. I do kind of like that uh, AB effect with that. And then I have some in these as well, but you can't see it great right now. But when I do the whole showing of the canvas, I think it's gonna show up a lot better. Um, you know, where I put them, I can, well, not where I put them, cause really I'm just mixing them up and letting them um, lay wherever I pick them up on the pen, but, um, you know, kind of showing it off and explaining why I did it the way I did. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit so you guys can, there you go. Okay. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't considered subscribing, um, please consider subscribing and be and following my channel. If you'd like to share this video, please share. And if you'd like to be notified of all my future video uploads, please hit that bell notification. I do hope you all have a nice day or night, whatever it is for you. Take care, happy diamond painting, and until my next video, bye.